we invite you to stand as we sing our processional hymn 594, God of Grace and God of Glory. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, the strength of all who put their trust in you, mercifully accept our prayers, and because in our weakness we can do nothing good without you, give us the help of your grace, your grace that in keeping your commandments we may please you both in will and deed. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the reading of the Scriptures. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. See, I have set before you today life and prosperity, death and adversity. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God that I am commanding you today, by loving the Lord your God, walking in his ways, and observing his commandments, decrees, and ordinances, then you shall live and become numerous, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land that you are entering to possess. But if your heart turns away, and you do not hear, but are led astray to bow down to other gods and serve them, I declare to you today that you shall perish. You shall not live long in the land that you are crossing the Jordan to enter and possess. I call heaven and earth to witness against you today that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Choose life so that you and your descendants may live loving the God, loving the Lord your God, obeying him and holding fast to him. For that means life to you and length of days, so that you may live in the land that the Lord swore to give to your ancestors, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. And so, brothers and sisters, I could not speak to you as spiritual people, but rather as people of the flesh, as infants in Christ. I fed you with milk, not solid food, for you were not ready for solid food. Even now you are still not ready, for you are still of the flesh. For as long as there is jealousy and quarreling among you, are you not of the flesh and behaving according to human inclinations? For when one says, I belong to Paul, and another, I belong to Apollos, are you not merely human? What then is Apollos? What is Paul? Servants through whom you came to believe as the Lord assigned to each. I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who gives the growth. The one who plants and the one who waters have a common purpose, and each will receive wages according to the labor of each. For we are God's servants, working together. You are God's field, God's building. The word of the Lord.
The Gospel of the Lord. Oh. 
stand and affirm our faith as we say together the Nicene Creed, which you'll find on page 358 in the Book of Common Prayer. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended through the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The prayers of the people can be found in the Book of Common Prayer on page 392. In peace, let us pray to you, Lord God, for all the people in their daily life and work, for our families, friends, and neighbors, and for those who are alone, for this community, the nation, and the world, for all who work for justice, freedom, and peace for the just and proper use of your creation, for the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression, for all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble, for those who minister to the sick, the friendless, and the needy, for the peace and unity of the Church of God, for all who proclaim the gospel and all who seek the truth, for Michael, our presiding bishop, and George, our bishop, and for all bishops and other ministers, for all who serve God in his church. For the special needs and concerns of this congregation, remembering especially Mary Jo Hoke, Daniel Berry, Ann Vineyard, Tracy Allen, Austin Laflame, Jane Laflame, Paul Petchy, Val Rohde, Chris Stevens, Leslie Blodgett, and Donna Scott. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life. We will exalt you, O God, our King, and praise your name forever and ever. We pray for all who have died, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. Lord, let your loving kindness be upon them who put their trust in you. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills, that we may be wholly th thine, utterly dedicated unto you, and then use us, we pray, as you will, and always to your glory and the welfare of your people, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. 
And now please turn to page five in your worship leaflet as we pray together the prayer for the election of a rector. Together, let us pray. Almighty God, giver of every good gift, look graciously on the church, and so guide the minds of those who shall choose a rector for this parish that we may receive a faithful pastor and for your people and equip us for our minds ministries. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Turning to page 360 in your Book of Common Prayer, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we, we confess, confess that, that we have sinned against, against you in thought, word, word and deed, by, by what we have God. done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Please stand as we share the peace with one another. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Please be seated. Do we have some prayers for birthdays and anniversaries and for baptisms of someone? And Albert Chang, will you come forward this time? As he comes forward, please know that Albert is going to be going to Cambodia on another mission trip. It's sort of a reconnaissance, checking out to see how folks are doing. And uh, so he comes as a missionary from our congregation, and we want to send him forth with our authority as well as our blessing. And if anyone else would like to come and, and lay hands on them, um, we, if you'll come here, oh, you're fine, okay, yeah, there you go. And Kyle Mills is also going as a part of the mission uh, group that uh, Albert is a part of. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for our brother Albert. We thank you for how you have brought him a, a, a mighty long way from the killing fields of Cambodia to return to people that he knows and loves and some that he does not yet know to bring the good news of your gospel. So we pray your blessing upon him and that your Holy Spirit would anoint him and Kyle as they minister to the, to the Cambodians of your love and your salvation through Jesus in whom we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Wedding anniversary? How many years? One. Woo! <laughs> so where were you a year ago? <laughs> How wonderful. If you'd like to join along with me for the prayer for the uh, anniversary, uh, please kneel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap my stole around your hands. Yeah, you hold hands. There you go. I'll find my stole and wrap that around there. Super. Okay. 
Let us pray. O oh God, you have so consecrated the covenant of marriage that in it is represented the spiritual unity between Christ and his church. And so we pray your blessing upon this couple who have been married for one year, who come to renew their promises and vows to each other. Grant them your grace that they may so love, honor, and cherish each other in faithfulness and love and patience in wisdom and true godliness that their lives together may be a witness and a sacrament of your love and forgiveness and that their home may be a haven of blessing and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Happy anniversary. You may kiss your bride in front of God and everybody. God bless you again. Okay. Have a few announcements. Actually, more than a few. So just uh, put your seatbelt on. But we do welcome you here. Uh, we're, we're so glad that you're here. Uh, if you are new to us or if you have some... Uh, uh, contact information that has changed, uh, please fill out a, a visitor's card that you'll find in the pew rack in front of you, or you can take a picture of the QR code and be among the cool kids and, and enter to the life of the church in that way. We, we appreciate your doing that and taking the time to do that. Uh, remember that discipleship classes are every Sunday, and check your worship leaflet in order to find out which one might be uh, appropriate for you. And Lent is approaching. Lent is a busy time around our church. And so we want to give you just a little bit of uh, what's going on. And Shrove Tuesday. When you think of Shrove Tuesday, what do you think about? Pancakes, butter, melted butter, syrup. Oh. Now, that's only good news if you give all that stuff up during Lent. But, so come on uh, Show Tuesday on the, at, at 5.30 and uh, be with us. And uh, it's a sort of a win-win a situation. You get pancakes and you get to contribute to missions in our church. And so please join us for that as well. On Ash Wednesday, the next day, February 22nd, we have two services, 1210, repeat with me, 1210 and 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Got it. Hope to see you there for one of those at least. Uh, we will continue the tradition of uh, Lenten soups uh, suppers as well and Stations of the Cross every uh, Wednesday during Lent and I'm leaving something out we have our um, our Lenten meditations so they'll be coming out as well as you can find a link to the Episcopal Relief and Development uh, <coughs> devotional booklet uh, on our website so look for that and I'd like to ask Margie Roach has come forward at this time. Uh, she is, of course, our senior warden, and she and the vestry met with our bishop and his canon to the ordinary. And here's the latest news. Inquiring minds want to know. Um, <laughs> so we did have a, the vestry did have a meeting with Bishop Sumner and Canon Brown this past week. A uh, very positive meeting. Um, they are all about being collaborative and being a partner with us in this search. Um, as they put it, they don't need to fix us. We are a shining star. Shh, don't tell anybody because we don't want. Um, and so our vestry is going to start actually today. We have a meeting after services today to begin talking about what our timeline looks like, what our um, search is going to look like, how we're going involve, to involve all of you in it. And with your support and your prayers, I know that we will all find the right person that is already out there for us. We just got to recognize him or her. Thank you. Thank you, Bargie. I have, yeah. 
I have to believe that the bishop sending me to serve as your interim rector is a reward for the other places he sent me. <laughs> now, don't tell anyone I said that, but I think that's true. Uh, please do know that all baptized Christians are welcome to receive communion here at Church of the Epiphany. And as you come forward, kneel or stand at the communion rail as is most comfortable for you. Place your hand in the sign of the cross and the priest will place a wafer in the palm of your hand. You may then consume it and then when the chalice bearer comes by, grasp the chalice by the base and take a sip of the wine. You may be un unable for some reason to receive communion at this time and if not come forward place your hands over your chest in the sign of the cross and you will receive a blessing there are some of us who uh, need gluten-free wafers and if you will come to at the end of communion and the, uh, uh, the rest of the, those communion communing come stand at the communion rail or kneel place your one hand over your chest and you will receive a wafer so uh, please join us with, for, um, I also want to say you can receive communion in one kind or another and still receive the full benefit of that gift. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and sacrifice to God.
continue with Eucharistic Prayer B, uh, found beginning on page 361. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and, awful and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, because in the mystery of the word made flesh, you have caused a new light to shine in our hearts to give the knowledge of your glory in the face of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your word spoken through the prophets, and above all in the word made flesh, Jesus your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. When he'd given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory, and we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ and bring us to that heavenly country where with all your saints we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters through Jesus Christ, our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory are yours, almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. gifts of God for the dearly beloved people of God.
turning to page 8 in your worship leaflet. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you, remain with you, and flow through you to bless others this day and always. Amen. Let us go forth in the name of Christ.